Hello gorgeous, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am sharing the 10 beauty products that I will never stop purchasing. These are items that are either skincare or makeup related that I have purchased multiple, multiple times. These are products that I can count on. The price is super affordable and I wish to share them with you in the event you are looking for some staple products in your skincare and makeup routine. So if that sounds interesting, just keep watching. I was placing an Ulta order when this idea came to me. I love to try the new new, the new makeup, the new skincare, it's gonna promise me something and I often do that. But it causes you to think when you keep coming back. Even after trying the newness, go back to that product that you know you can count on. So I'm going to start with my skincare. I am a oily skin type. I didn't used to be, now I am. I'm hoping I get past that again because I think being oily is a pain in the tuchus. However, I was turned on to this CeraVe Foaming Facial Cleanser. It's probably been a couple of years now and I love this product. You can get it in a normal to dry formula. You can also get it in a normal to oily formula, which is what I get. The price is reasonable. I'll have everything listed in the description box below if you are interested. I try to link and list everything. So this CeraVe, what I like about it is that I get a little bit of a foam, which I do prefer. It really has helped my breakouts immensely. I have not had problems with acne in quite a bit. I think it helps keep the, the skin clear. And I also love that a little bit goes a long way. I do not even need a full pump. So this packaging lasts me a crazy amount of time. That's what I was noticing as I was trying all these different facial cleansers and they wouldn't even last me a month. A month would go by and it would be gone. So this huge bang for your buck I know that they have really good products for dry skin as well. I have a niece that is the first person that told me about how much she loved CeraVe. Great brand, highly recommend it. Just buy the formula that suits your skin type. The second product I wanna talk about is this Thayer's Toner. I have purchased so many bottles of this toner. I believe it was Zabrina, I will link her channel that first told me about Thayer's or told us about Thayer's in a video. This is the Thayer's Facial Toner Witch Hazel Aloe Vera Formula. I get the unscented. I have gotten scents prior, but unscented just works great for me. I use it every time I wash my face. I'll be done washing my face. I will put this on my makeup eraser and I will wipe all over my face with the toner. And what often happens is there's still a teensy bit of makeup on that makeup eraser. I also credit the makeup eraser. A little side note, I love my makeup erasers, but it removes any last traces of dirt, impurities. It helps to diminish the look of your pores. I am a big advocate of toner, especially when you can get it at an inexpensive price like Thayer's. The third beauty product that I do not see myself ever living without is the Ordinary Skincare. I have turned friends and family onto these products. They are a very inexpensive brand. The Ordinary has their own website. They can also be found on, I believe, Ulta and Sephora. I have Ulta pulled up right now but I have grouped these three products into one category for this video. And every day, the first thing that I have been using is hyaluronic acid. I wash my face and then I add a little bit of water back under my eyes because you want to put hyaluronic acid onto damp skin. And I put this under my eyes before I go in with my eye cream. This will add moisture back under my eyes, make them look younger, tighter. I have deep set eyes, so I get sort of the craters underneath. I don't necessarily get puffiness, although I've heard the caffeine solution for under the eyes is fantastic as well. But I put this on before my eye cream over a damp eye, and I have been loving the results of how my under eyes are looking a little plumper, a little tighter, the concealer's going on nicer. I love it. Next step is this Matrixol. 
This is Matrixol 10% plus HA High Strength Wrinkle Support Serum. This is a lightweight serum rich in Matrixol, which is a well-studied peptide complex that reduces the look of static and dynamic wrinkles. So this, I really focus more on my smile lines, around the edges of my eyes, my forehead wrinkles, and then from there I will blend it out. The last one that I use is the Niacinamide 10% plus Zinc 1% Oil Control Serum. Niacinamide is very hot right now because it has more benefits than just oil control. This is going to help with texture. It helps with skin congestion and, as I mentioned, the oil control. It is brightening. It is moisturizing. This goes on my face every day as a last step before I go in with my moisturizer. I always follow serums with a moisturizer. Not super loyal to any one eye cream or face cream at this time. Let's get into the makeup. The next item that I want to mention is this Ulta Matte Eyeshadow Primer. It makes me so happy. I've been hearing more and more people talk about this in the YouTube space. This retails for $12 for 0.3 ounces, and there are a couple things that I like about it. Number one, you do not have to set it. It dries down very quickly. It is a nude color, so it does provide some coverage if you have veins, if you have discoloration on your eyelids, and then my favorite thing about it is it goes such a long way. What I just put on my finger would be enough for both eyes. Silky, soft, smooth texture. It takes two seconds to pat this onto your eyelids and prep your eyes for the best eyeshadow day ever. Helps the eyeshadows pop, helps against creasing, helps with coverage, Another great thing about Ulta Beauty is they have sales all the time. Buy one, get one, 50% off all Ulta brand, and I do have two Ulta brand products that I have purchased again and again, so I highly recommend this one. There are two brow products that I continue to repurchase again and again. The first one is the e.l.f. Brow Gel. This has been called a dupe for the Anastasia Brow Freeze. I don't own that, I never have, but I can tell you I love this. This is my second or third container of this. I love it. I have other brow gels that I enjoy, but this is the one that I always come back to. This is the one that will always be in my collection. So what I do is I have a spoolie in my bedroom where I do my makeup. Elf does have a spoolie that you can buy for this product. I've never done that, but for me, I just tap my spoolie into that gel very, very lightly, and then just brush it into my brows, and immediately they are held in whatever shape I would like them to be in. I like mine to be lifted and curved a little this direction, so up and over, and then if I, I can straighten that out, I always clean off the spoolie, and then I will use the top to shape. Sometimes I will flatten them out if you want more of a laminated look, it never lets me down. If you just saw my battle of the drugstore, there were a lot of Wet n Wild winners, and wow, I have purchased this Wet n Wild brow pencil over and over again. I can find it anywhere. Any drugstore, Walmart, Ulta, I'm gonna pay less than $5, and this is gonna get the job done easily. Which, by the way, all of the products that I'm talking about today, I do have them on my face, and anything else that I have on my face will be listed below. But of course, I have the e.l.f. Brow Lift, I have my skincare, I washed my face with the CeraVe, I have the Wet n Wild Micro Brow Pencil in. I believe I use the Deep Brown shade. I do. This is Deep Brown. I will always have this in my collection, and I think there's something to be said for convenience. If you've been watching me for any amount of time, I have to give it to this Essence Extreme Lasting Pencil. I have purchased this for family members. I've purchased so many for myself. $3.99 for this pencil. I do wish it were screw up instead of sharpen. I would prefer a screw up, but I think that I tried Essence's formula in the twist up and it wasn't as creamy as this. So I just sharpen it every time. I use this for my upper lid for my waterline. This can be put anywhere. I took a brush today and drug out a little bit for a little baby wing. This is an amazing 
inky black smooth liner. I have two mascaras to talk about that I have purchased again and again. The first one is the Essence Lash Princess. If you were to look into my drawer, and let me know if you want me to do another mascara showdown. Sometimes I like to go through all of my mascaras and let you know what I like about them and why. I love trying new mascaras. There are many that I am reaching for in my drawer right now, but this is one that I always have. This is a brand new one. Just opened it today. I do have it on my lashes today. I did add a half Kiss So Wispy Lash. If I wanted to do a little something fancy for uh, St. Patrick's Day. You are gonna see this on Saturday, but I have a, I believe it's gonna be a short going up on this eye look for St. Patrick's Day. But yes, I have this on first. I love this mascara. It builds quickly. It does not smear on me. However, I only use it on my top lashes. This is less than $5. There are different variations. There's one with sort of pink edging and purple and blue. I've tried them all. I like the green. I've tried a lot of Essence mascaras and I would say 90% of them I've enjoyed, but this is the one that I go back to. This past Christmas, they had a sale going on. They have sets that go on. I buy them. I give them to friends and family. If you haven't tried this mascara, you're missing out. If it runs on you, especially on the bottom, most all of my mascaras will not behave on the bottom lash line. And for that reason, I use a tubing mascara on my bottom lashes. And back to that Ulta collection, I have purchased this two or three times now. This is the Ulta Lash Flash. This is a tubing mascara. I believe it is $11 on Ulta. This is what the wand looks like. It is easy to build up and I can trust it. A tubing mascara is gonna come off in tubes. It's less likely to smudge. It is a great thing to have in your collection, especially if you get mascara on your top or bottom lashes. I know some people use this on the top and bottom. I prefer just to use tubing on the bottom. This I will forever repurchase. It has never let me down. And the Ulta Beauty goes on sale all the time. I have a backup right now in my drawer, probably my fourth tube because it went on sale. So when it goes on sale, I grab it and I put it aside because I know I'll go back into it. So Ulta tubing. I have two more forever repurchased products to show you. And the next one is going to be, could you guess it? My Morphe Sweet Tea Lip Liner. This pencil is a sharpened pencil, which I prefer for my lips. I'm gonna be able to get precision. I like the tone of this. This is just the perfect, nudie brown. I love the texture. Today I lined my lips and I just filled it in and then threw some gloss on top. I probably have four of these floating around my house. I gave one to my sister. I love this. I will say Morphe did just come out with a new lip liner. I can't remember what it's called, but I think it's like a plumping lip liner. Of course I picked it up. It's on its way to me. I will keep you posted on how that is, but I think it's a little more expensive. It might be $10. This one is $6. You just can't go wrong. I just did a declutter on my lip liners. I have a bunch and it's hilarious. I kept the ones that I like and I still, you can see the tops in my container. I will still grab for my Morphe Sweet Tea. I have to stop myself. <laughs> but this is great, long lasting, goes on smooth, soft enough to fill in the lips. I will forever repurchase. And then the last product that I have purchased multiple times that I have fallen in love with is this one right here. I have a lot of Ulta Beauty products that I love. I may have to put, I was thinking on my battle of the brands, I'm definitely gonna have to put Ulta Beauty up against Sephora Collection because I enjoy so many products from both of them. I need to put them together in a video. Give this video a thumbs up if you're down with that. But this last product is this concealer. This is the Ulta Beauty Collection Full Coverage Liquid Concealer. I got mine in fair neutral. I want a bright under eye. I have to pull out those canyons under my eyes. A lot of concealers claim to be full coverage. This is pretty darn close to being full coverage. I still build it up, but it is very skin-like. It does not dry out under my eyes. Full coverage, lightweight, creamy, super blendable, and it's $10. I tried this on a whim 
at Ulta one day. Again, they were having a sale and I thought, let me just try this. And I really enjoy it. My process for putting my concealer on has changed a little bit. I go through phases. I'll use a brush, I'll use my finger. Right now I'm enjoying my e.l.f. camo sponge. I will wet this every morning and I will put my concealer on and tap it out with my sponge. And then if I need to build it up, especially just in the darkest areas, I'll put just a small amount, build it up a little bit, let it set, and then dust the smallest amount of powder on there. Those are my 10 beauty products. If I think of anything else, I'll pin a comment, but I was thinking about just all the things that I have purchased again and again and again. I would love to hear what makeup products or skincare products that you just stand behind 100% to the point that you have purchased them again and again, even if you like to try new things. I would love to hear that. And then maybe I can try them and I can do a follow-up video. Let's have a discussion in the comments. Be sure that you are subscribed. If you are not subscribed already, give the video a thumbs up. Hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button so you know when I upload, which is Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. I look forward to your comments and I hope that you have a fabulous day.